Chisholm and WWE NXT superstar Ava Rain roasted me on Twitter. It was just another Tuesday night where I'm live tweeting NXT. I live tweet pretty much everything. And for anyone that follows me on Twitter, you know it's genuinely a joking, you know, atmosphere. We're all just having fun. And so anyway, on this episode of NXT, Ava Rain, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it because I stand by it. She was looking good. She was looking good. So for some reason, I decided to tag her because honestly, I didn't think she was gonna respond. And I said, this could be us with an attached picture of Dominic and Rhea. And this was while she was still in the ring on NXT Wrestling. And then after NXT goes off the air, if we scroll down here, we've got a response from her that says, no thanks, I'm good. I... <laughs> I literally had to double take when I saw it in the timeline. I was like, oh, who's Ava Rain responding to after NXT? Something must be going down. Is that my name? You know, just general culture will tell you the worst they can say is no. That's a damn lie. And then underneath that, being the smooth criminal I am, I responded, I love a woman who plays hard to get. <laughs> What is wrong with me? Dog, you just got rejected by The Rock's daughter. Pack it up. To which I responded, the game's not over. We still got three quarters left to play. But yeah, bro, it, it was tough out there in the streets. I was getting cooked for real. <laughs> there were just so many, like, mentions and responses to this tweet. It was absolutely insane. Eva WWE, 21, Shizm, the final girl. I mean, I'm trying to make you my final girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all jokes aside, it was just a little bit of fun on the timeline. I, I don't hate Ava Rain or anything. This isn't an anti-Ava Rain video. And for those of you asking the all-important question, is this gonna, uh, you know, deter you away from shooting your shot again in the future? No. In order to get buckets, you gotta shoot the ball. In order to win the game, you gotta get buckets. So I'ma keep shooting. Who should win? Oscar. Oscar should be win. Which tag team do you think should dethrone Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn for the WWE Undisputed Tag Team Championships? It begins with a D-I-Y. Because if nobody can do it, you gotta do it yourself. If you could go back in time and change the outcome of one match, which one would it be? Ooh, okay, this is a pretty good question. There's three that come to mind. One is the Undertaker's streak ending at all. I don't think that should have happened. I think he should have just retired and defeated, you know, at WrestleMania 28. I think then we avoid all the ugly Undertaker years where it's like, what is this guy doing? Is there a retirement home we can get on the phone? I would obviously go ahead and stop Nakamura losing to Jinder Mahal at SummerSlam. That was stupid. And number three, I guess it would be Liv Morgan losing the SmackDown Women's Championship just because I think it should have gone on for longer and there was a way better ending there. Like one with Rhea Ripley, for example, would have made way more sense, but it is what it is. Ref gets in the way of Edge's spear. Okay, here we go. That referee is about to die. That referee is... Oh, <laughs> the referee is dead. Some moments in this game are so satisfying. All right, I'll be the judge of this. How satisfying is this really about to be? RVD running on the ladder to the ultimate warrior. Oh my goodness. It comes full circle. Oh, look at this wholesome W right here. The kids are playing on the retro wrestling game. You love to see. It. Oh my God. Bro is floating and vibing. And oh, oh, I don't. Um. Um. Blood in AW fight for AW 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 all fatigued finishers found so far. Okay, I am actually interested to watch this because I haven't actually seen all the fatigue finishers they brought back. I saw a couple of them. There's the Batista bomb. Okay. I like that. I love fatigue finishers. I said it in the other video. It adds so much. This is the one I saw at the tombstone. But it adds so much to the end of a match. And it's been a while since I even played WWE 2K, by the way. I feel like I, I've abandoned that game. I should probably go ahead and run it back at some point soon. But it's AEW Fight Forever season. Oh, that's a tired code breaker. I love that. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. John Cena lifting him up. I love this guy's drip, by the way. Steve Groove for the attitude adjustment. That's fine. By the way, this is going to sound very random. It has nothing to do with the topic of the video, but how do you guys say this word right here? Is it Yeros or Gyros? Like, which type of person are you? I'm not judging. I'm just judging. There's just so much right about this. It's RVD getting a 4.20 average match rating because... Smoke weed every day. Exactly. This game is so silly, but so enjoyable. What the hell is this arena? Oh my god, he's about to go for a dive. <gasps> oh! 
Yo, that was sick. What the hell? What do you think of Charlotte returning and instantly having a title shot? Dude, listen. I like Charlotte Flair. I love the four horsewomen. Obviously, Becky's my favorite one. And she's always gonna be my favorite, but I like Charlotte Flair. I just, I'm very tired of Charlotte Flair. It's one of them things where she does the exact same thing and has been doing the exact same thing for such a long time that I'm tired. It's always the same woo. It's the same queen gimmick. Why don't you be experimentatious? That's not a word. Rhea getting a women's winged eagle on Monday. <laughs> I'm here to tell you right now, that's not gonna happen. There is no way that 24 hours from now, we're gonna see a women's winged eagle title. I'm secretly trying to manifest it in the reverse direction. Just go with it. There me. is absolutely no way that I am wrong about this. There is definitely not gonna be a winged eagle tomorrow night on Raw. If anything, I mean, it's probably just gonna be the white, you know, strapped version of Seth Rollins' title. I really hope I'm wrong. Which former star would you like to see return for one last run? She looks good to me. She's got everything I want. She's got everything. She looks good. Me and the homies want to see Eve Torres come back for one more run. I've seen Trish. I've seen Lita. I loved it. I saw Molly Holly for a brief run, but I need more. I saw Stacy, but I need more. <laughs> I spin the face of people who don't want to be cool. I want Carlito to come back. I know he was there at Backlash, but I need a more full run, okay? I need Carlito to confront Austin Theory one time and just be like, You're not cool. The nastiest oversell bump you'll see. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this oversell from Mr. Oversell himself, Shawn Michaels. Uh-oh. Drew's lifting him up for that air raid siren slam. Oh, what? Brother, you are so extra. <laughs> that reminds me of when uh, he was facing, uh, you know, the red and yellow guy at a SummerSlam, and he was like, GG, this is a title match. Can you please be serious? <laughs> What the hell? So, by the way, very small comment about your belts here, but I uh, absolutely love them. Those are some great belts. The only reason I recognize that song is because I just played No Mercy. I would have no idea. What if NXT Continents? Ooh, yeah, weren't they gonna do this? Wasn't Triple H talking about this? Or was he just kind of hinting at it? Because I could have swore that they were gonna do like an NXT Japan and, a, you know, the NXT UK thing and, well, I guess NXT... No, I'm sorry. Oh, but look at this. This is fire. We've got NXT Europe, which by the way, again, what happened to NXT Europe? NXT Europe was going to be a thing in 2023, right? And they said early 2023. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's not early 2023 anymore and there's still no NXT Europe. So I don't know what the hell happened to NXT Europe. Maybe 2024. NXT Asia. Okay. NXT Africa. Okay. NXT Oceania. Okay. NXT Americas. Nice. Cleaning my basement. Found my old PS2 in Inside was better than gold. Okay, before I show you the image, you've just got to understand. You, you've got to believe me, okay? This was completely organic. I did not force this one into the video. This just happened. It just so happens to be SmackDown versus Raw 2011. I'm literally in tears. What are the odds of this happening? I mean, when I get the opportunity to go ahead and start talking about it, when it's a layup like this, let's talk about SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Let's talk about the greatest freaking wrestling game of all time for the next, I don't know, two to three hours. So the first reason